Hi, I'm Steve LaRue and I'm coming to you from the Green Barn Nursery in El Perot, Quebec. We will be bringing you a series of video information sessions brought to you by Dr. Ken Taylor, my stepfather who is the foremost authority on northern fruit trees uh, in North America. Uh, this uh, week's session will uh, be about the sea berry. Hope you enjoy. Why, uh, why am I very excited about a sea berry tree? First of all, you can see it has incredible fruit, uh, the branches. This is not an unusual fruit load for a sea berry. Quite often, uh, you'll see this uh, total new growth covered with berries. Uh, what are the uh, merits of the fruit? Uh, first of all, uh, it has kind of a sweet, sour, pineapple fruit flavor. It also has probably as high a phytonutrient content as cranberries, blueberries. In fact, there are some authorities that have done tests, some universities, uh, where they show the sea berry to have more phytonutrients than most of our common berries. Uh, the other thing that's very interesting about the sea berry is that it can take extreme weather conditions, extreme climate, uh, it can take very poor soils, it obviously can grow in sandy conditions next to a, a sea. It can therefore take sea uh, salt. Uh, it's a good roadside tree. Uh, it can take minus 40 in terms of uh, cold weather in the winter. It can take extreme heat and drought in the summer. You can put it in sand and almost a desert and it uh, can suck moisture out of the very dry conditions. Uh, one of the other things that's very important is uh, it can fix nitrogen out of the air and as we further understand the reasons behind global warming uh, we think that nitrogen or nitrous oxides in the air are much worse than carbon dioxide in the air causing greenhouse gas effect and global warming. Uh, this plant fixes uh, nitrogen out of the atmosphere in the roots and thereby uh, uh, fertilizing the soil as well as reducing the nitrous oxides in the air. Uh, the merits for the uh, uh, plant backyard person or the farm that wants to use this for a commercial venture, you have uh, very high fruit production, you have uh, a very tough plant in a variety of growing conditions, you also have uh, uh, what I would consider a very attractive uh, windbreak tree or a very attractive backyard specimen tree or front yard, wherever you might want to put it. It obviously can take uh, soil conditions from uh, very poor soils to very rich soils. You'll find the tree grows higher, but this is pretty typical of uh, uh, very tough soil conditions. If you were able to see beneath the soil here, it's the opposite to what this tree likes. It's very heavy clay and very wet. We grow it here to see if it can take a variety of growing conditions, and it can, as you can see here from the fruit load. Anyway, there are a lot of other things I could say about the sea berry, but uh, perhaps that's enough to interest you in trying one.